switch. Rip off the bruise. Don't let the transparent bodywork fool you. There's more to this robot than meets the eye. With a top speed of 4 miles an hour and weighing in at 84.6 kilos, Robot the Bruce is one of tonight's heaviest contenders. Roboteers, stand by. And the final team to take on the gauntlet, Robot the Bruce, with George Francis and Mick Cutter. They both fly model aeroplanes. Three, two, one. Activate. Robot the Bruce in its sexy see-through gear. Very heavy, 84.6 kilos, driven by a team. They call themselves the Village Idiots. They're no idiots. They're very clever electric engineers. Look at the power. No weapons there, just brute force. Our robot, robot the Bruce. As you can see, the robot is built with no special armaments. We're purely relying on a lot of weight. We're in the heavyweight category, and just brute power and a lot of traction and push people out of the way. Great strength. George Francis, the driver, is building a single-engine aeroplane driven by a car engine. It's a bit of a worry, but this isn't worrying. That's strong. Good run. They're through. Now, of all the driving I think I've ever seen in here, that was just about the best. No problem. Easy as anything. Now, that was a hell of a performance. Well done. Robot the Bruce impressively through. Top of the leaderboard. Thunderbird heading out unless the Dreadnought engine has failed. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Is dead metal our scorpion goalkeeper? Shaking with fear. Don't forget the ball. Don't forget the ball. That's a little bit more like it. Oh, good save by Dead Metal. Get it away. Magnificent stuff. There's big dreadnought in there. And Robot the Bruce with that sheer power through to the edge of the goal area. Can he get the last chance? The keeper's beaten. Go on, go on. It's there. That was fantastic. It wasn't quite as easy as it looks. Got there in the end. You're the first one, though. It's all right. Round of applause, take a bow. <laughs> Who would you hate to be pitched again? Um, any of them. I don't mind. We'll take all of them. And does that apply to you as well? You can take all of them? Oh, yes, definitely. We've got the power, and we know we've uh, got a reliable robot, so we just um, hit them and push them out of the way. OK, let me tell you who you are pitched against in the next event. It's Cruella. No problem. <laughs> Be an easy one. Let's go and find out what they say. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. It's the box against the wedge. No weapons on board either. Both charged by two large Sinclair C5 motors. If Cruella can get in underneath Robot the Bruce, there could be a shock here. Robot the Bruce will be using that fast, near 85 kilogram power to shove it into one of the patrol zones, or against the spikes, or against the grills. Oh, that's suicide, surely! What on earth? Is Philip Martin doing? He's on the grill. He won't get out from there now. I thought he'd got you there. I thought he's going to be able to tip you over. Nearly, yeah. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. But how did you manage to get him to run away onto that grate? That pass. He just committed suicide? I think so. Doesn't matter, though. You're through. Well done. <laughs> Not quite sure how, but we won. <laughs> It was looking a bit dodgy there at it the start. You were nearly wedged up. That's right, yes. Sort of lifted off the ground a few times, but got there in the end, though. Yeah, you did. It's fantastic. And not that much damage. We've got a little bit of battle damage on the right-hand side there, but House repairable. Got there in the end, though. Are you nervous at all? A little bit. I didn't do too well against the last wedge one. It took a bit of doing. So uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. And so we have reached tonight's final, which is between Robot the Bruce in its see-through negligee and Wedgehog with its very deadly toothpick. You ready, guys? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? 
Yep. Get in your boxes and do fighting. Though God knows how with a see-through box. There we are. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Debate. Robot the Bruce with George Francis and Mick Cutter against Wedgehog with Chris Tracer and Hugo Elias. Sheer brute force against the toothpick. <laughs> it could all be over very, very quickly. He's on the grill. I don't think he's going to get out of there. Are you sure taking on a grill with that thing? And the house robots are closing in for the kill as well. The sergeant with the circular saw. Shunt is in there too. There's the saw blade. I don't think they're going to get out. Matilda's in, looking for a few scraps, as usual. Shunt takes on Robot the Bruce, but I think it's too little too late. Robot the Bruce is the winner! Sheesh. All right, Shunt, quieten down, quieten down. You did very well. No need for a judge's decision tonight, is there? The winner, Robot the Bruce. That was just great. Congratulations. Magnificent. Well done. Brilliant stuff. Were you not even slightly worried about that very, very lethal toothpick? No, I was more worried about a chainsaw on the back of the Matilda. Yeah, well, everybody's worried about the chainsaw. I can't wait to see the damage that's been inflicted down there. I can't wait to see you at the end of the series for our grand final. Three, two, and Robot the Bruce and one. Tracy from tonight. Activate. And this for the title, the first ever UK Robot Wars champion. Aggressive style already, especially from Tracy spiking Recyclops. And that allows Roblox to come in underneath. There's the extended tongue. But Recyclops can't flip Tracy over at this moment in time. Tracy comes back. There's Body Hammer in the spotlight briefly. And running away, Cunning Plan needs to get back into the action and be aggressive. And it is there because the judges will mark for aggression. And Tracy's up on... Cunning plan, and both of them are out, immobilised. Four left, Body Hammer, and Recyclops, and Robert the Bruce there to the left-hand side, and the dangerous Roadblock, who's persisting in this attack on Recyclops, the most dangerous attacking robot otherwise in the field. But up on its side, Recyclops. Down it comes, the turn takes a fearful bashing. Roadblock still pressurising, and Body Hammer thrusts into Robot the Bruce, Recyclops on its side. Not yet down, Robot the Bruce trying to get involved. Rex Garrard needs to get his tongue back in, in every sense of the word. Recyclops, top of the picture. There's the chain off, Recyclops! And that attacking by Roadblock has paid off. Recyclops is out, and down to three, Body Hammer. Roadblock behind it, and there's Robot the Bruce up on his side, and goes as well, and that leaves two. The Roadblock team of students from Bobnik against the team of nuclear engineers and Body Hammer. Here's Roadblock closing in on the far more experienced engineering team, getting in underneath. It's over. It goes to the judges. And the arena on its feet, a standing ovation.